Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2016 Trails Football League Fantasy Draft Lottery. Uh, tonight we will find the, out the future for all 12 competitors and tomorrow night's 5 p.m. draft at Drew's house. Again, I want to reinforce it's tomorrow at 5 p.m. at Drew's house. We've had a bit of confusion about that over the past, past few weeks, but that date and time has been set in stone. So tomorrow, 5 p.m., uh, we'll see everybody there. It is an online draft, so for those of you who can't make it to the Oklahoma City headquarter location, uh, you'll be able to join us live uh, on the through the internet, and that's through the ESPN app um, using your mobile device, iPad, or laptop top computer. Um, but that's about tomorrow. Let's get to the business, which we've all been waiting for all day long, and that is the NF or the Trails Football League uh, draft lottery. So as you can see here, we have our 12 lottery picks, uh, and we have our order of 1 through 12, which we will decide tonight. So let's uh, cut the crap and let's get down to why we're really here, and let's decide the number one pick in tomorrow night's Trails Football League 2016 draft. So, my uh, eyes are not in the bowl, my eyes are on the computer. And the first pick of the draft tomorrow night, wow, isn't it well deserved that our defending champion, the Homo for Romo and Trent Gwynn, will be the number one pick in the 2016 Trails Football League Draft. So Trent Gwynn, you're officially on the clock. Number two. The second pick tomorrow will be Jess Daly. So Jess will come in at number two. Third pick for tomorrow's Trails Football League Draft. is yours truly, Brent Wilson, the commissioner. Fourth. Harrison Goosen. One of the um, selections this year to return to the Trails F Football League after a hiatus last season. Uh, Harrison's been through some... Uh, some things these past couple of years, so I think all of us here in the Trails Football League are rooting for him uh, for a great comeback season in 2016. The fifth pick is going to be none other than Scott Bennett. So Scott will head into that center portion of the draft where really all of you I know that are watching right now are saying, please, do not pick me. I don't want five, six, seven, um, because that really is a tough spot to be in. Number six will be Drew Stussy. So right there in the middle of the draft will be Team Stussy's head coach, Andrew Stussy. Seven for the draft tomorrow night is going to be Joe Bronson. Number eight. Sorry, because I keep putting the phone down. I only got one hand. Number eight tomorrow night will be Baylor Wilson. Unfortunately, he will not be with us live or on the Internet, but he has decided to auto-pick uh, and pre-rank his players prior to the draft. That way he has um, some say in the picks that he makes. Number nine, we're heading towards the end of this 12-team draft. Number nine will be Hamza Chowdhury. Final three picks, folks. In there you'll find 10, 11, and 12. Let's decide those final three picks now. Number 10. Matthew Deaver. Two remaining. Number 11. Albert Number 12 
And the twelfth pick and final pick, if your ha name hasn't been called, you know it's you. It's our 2014 champion, uh, William Conrad Tigert. So Will Tigert will finish out the draft with the final pick at number 12. So, again, to run down the list for tomorrow night's Trails Football League draft, number one, the defending champion, the Homo for Romo. Number two, Jess Daly. Three, myself. Four, Harrison Goosen. Five, Scott Bennett. Six, Drew. Seven, Joe. Eight, Baylor. Nine, Humza. Ten is Deaver. Eleven, Albert. And the final pick will be Will Tigret. Thank you for watching uh, the Trails Football Draft Lottery. A couple of other matters I wanted to discuss. If you have not uh, downloaded the app and joined the league, I want to make sure that you guys get in there before the draft. Go in there, join the league, and uh, make any changes needed. As far as a couple of the rule changes we decided on this year, um, we have kept the quarterback touchdown points at six. Um, that was after we had a split vote of five to five. However, um, our two newest members, Harrison and Baylor, both decided they would like six-point touchdowns for the quarterback. So that'll stay the same. Um, we are moving to waivers. So um, it'll be a reverse order of this draft selection. So the number one waiver uh, uh, after the draft will be Will, followed by Trent will be the last waiver. Um, but those orders will change throughout the season as people make waiver claims. Um Final bit of business is the uh, league dues. We've had pretty good success these past two years about getting everyone's league uh, league dues. I've already got a couple. So if you haven't paid me already via Venmo, you can do that starting now. But it is going to be due tomorrow before the draft. So if you have not paid tomorrow before the draft, um, we've got a couple people on a waiting list who will take your spot, um, unfortunately. So it's easy. Just get on Venmo, pay it to Brent Wilson, $40, and we'll be good to go. Um, but other than that, uh, I look forward to tomorrow. I think Drew's going to be smoking um, when he called me last time. I think he might have had a couple of beers in him, but he said he was going to be um, smoking 20 pounds of buffalo wings. And I think he said four pounds of ribs or four racks of ribs. So bring your appetites because I think Drew's really going to go all out for us. Um, if you could, go ahead and bring something to share. It's not Drew's responsibility to feed us all. So if you could bring a side dish, and if you're not much of a cook, uh, Joe, bring something to drink. Uh, bring a nice cold beer that you can share with everybody. Um, until tomorrow, we look forward to it. Have a great evening. Do some mock drafts. Do your research. Um, but until then, so long, everyone.